Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Random Call Sign. Welcome to a new video, and today it's gonna be the second part of the Dirt Rally 2 Force Feedback update. And on the last video, I asked the community to, you know, give hints to see how we could improve uh, the force feedback on the T3 and RRS because of the update on the Dirt Rally 2 force feedback. Uh, from where I started, the force feedback was better than the original Dirt Rally 2 previous to the update, but it wasn't still quite there. But through your comments and through with some fiddling around, I was able to get the T300 RS dialed almost as I wanted it. There's still some issues uh, regarding the, the force feedback that is still available on uh, Dirt Rally 2. It's still uh, something that will be uh, updated. Uh, from uh, Codemasters part, but this is the point where I have got it at the moment I'm gonna tweak a few things here and there and also I on the right side of the screen You'll be seeing how the the driver is set on so it will be 75% uh, Force feedback on the wheel 100% constant 100% periodic and spinning and damper at zero as the spring and damper gets like a a constant force so the self aligning torque also gives a constant force uh, it's something that tries to maintain a constant force always in the wheel so it's like resistance I lowered it a bit to 60 wheel friction somebody said on the comments it just gets you like a numbing force on the wheel so uh, it recommended to turn it down and it does work for the T3 and RRS it's perfect tire friction and suspension will give you some effects you can probably lower or higher it uh, in accordance to your tastes collisions and soft lock will be probably the same and steering force it will give you like a, a centering force uh, that will always be active but I only have it at a third up I think it will give um, a somewhat natural or neutral feel but of course as always this is purely force feedback is always purely personal it depends on what you're looking for and I'm gonna tell you my experiences now which completely changed the game for me using asphalt uh, using uh, gravel heavy gravel as recommended by somebody in the comments now you can feel the, the the lumber on the bridge you can somewhat feel the tarmac there's still some detail missing on it the, the tarmac but you can feel it better and the heavy gravel you can also feel it better it's such a better experience now it's not just going over the curbs it's now it's it's constant you can of course lower it as you need it if you feel it's too high now you can feel more or less what the car is doing you can be a little more precise than where you were before in my opinion of course this will depend hugely as you can see on <laughs> not talking and um, driver skill but now you can feel the differences between a gravel whoop, oh, between gravel and tarmac which is the the most important thing now going over the bridge you can feel the bumps it, it does feel like logs on the bridge which is pretty cool on tarmac there's still some details missing going over the tarmac it, it still feels kind of smooth in my opinion which okay it's not too bad you just feel a centering force but it's a different effect than going here at the gravel where things kind of become a wire ish it's still not dirt rally force feedback the, the first one but it's much improved it's incredible how a fun game like this one is hidden behind something that is not as good of in force feedback it's it's like you have something hiding the true potential of the game still oh man this is pretty nice I think I'm gonna crash soon and because we need to try on the other situation what is what is with ice uh, with tarmac so that means we're gonna go to Monaco 
like on the last time. There we go. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Opa. Four seat back won't help you with the clutch. Now you go over. You, you can still go over the that's uh, those bushes on the side, and you can feel the difference between the bushes and the heavy gravel over here, which is it's cool. The effect is slightly different. Opens. Six right. Opens eighty. Flat middle of a crest. Fifty. Five right tightens. Opens of a crest. Eighty. Opa! Flat small crest. One fifty. It's a really, really big stage. But yeah, it's so much fun, more fun. So what we're gonna do is going to Monaco to see the difference. Forget about my driving skills over here because I'm not a very good snow driver. So over here at the snow and ice, there's still a, a centering force, but it's quite loose. It's going to be downstairs, down the road when we finally get to the uh, finally get to the tarmac and the patches of black ice um, that we're going to see if essentially it changes or not. Whoa, I did not feel that understeer. There's still that lack of feeling uh, what the, the suspension is doing. But then again, it's not something that is easy to do in most sims. But yeah, here it is. No texture whatsoever on the snow. Well, because this is ice. On the snow, there should be more texture than ice, but you don't really feel it. There's not that much difference between snow and ice. There's just uh, Snow has just a... Little more force feedback, feedback, and on the ice it's just like just the force you have. If you remove the centering force, it, it you won't be feeling a thing. So let's go back over here, point to the car over there, throttle out. I'm terrible in the snow conditions. Opens fifty. We're getting to the to the tarmac, I believe. It's so scary driving in these conditions. Into two right long, tighten one. Into three left long, tightens. There we go. Uh, Into four right. That car will have a lot of damage in the end. Three left long, 60. So still no difference because we're still on ice. Four the right. tarmac, extra, extra yeah, a little more. Uh, more here, more texture because it's a patch of snow. On the ice, you can't feel a thing. Now, just a little more texture there. Maybe I need to increase something to, to look at the difference, to feel a difference. And over here, basically, you have a lot more force. But the texture is pretty much the same. For me, that's the biggest issue uh, on all of this. You have the same texture in ice or snow. Now the difference is how much force you actually have. So basically, you go over a patch of tarmac, clean tarmac or cleanish tarmac. You have a certain force. And then you hit the ice. Uh, the steering just releases. So it, it's more or less what it should be happening. But I, I, I still prefer a little more texture on my, my force feedback. But, you know... From the point where we were before uh, to what we are now, this is better than playable. This is pretty good. But they can still improve on it. Yep. Now you can really feel uh, the tire going over ice patch, which is fantastic. Here it is. It just re releases the, the force. Now the force is back again. Releases again the force. It's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. That's more more or less what we want to feel when you hit a, a ice patch when you are on the tarmac. So that means um, from all of the community effort into building a good 
setup for the four suit back this was actually hugely successful i'm happy with uh the point where the setup is at the moment it's not perfect it's still you know we can still surfer some improvements here there's always room for improvement but i can tell you for the t300rs with the latest firmware this is actually a pretty good force feedback profile check it out make sure that uh, you tweak it to your own tastes but uh, from here from this point on you'll have something that i think you're going to enjoy in most circumstances so guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed don't please don't forget Press like, subscribe, check Discord. Don't forget to share as well. It might help somebody else. Uh, thank you very much for watching once again. And I'll see you next time.